praise the Most High. This is another Sabbath day, and we, we come out week in and week out to bring out the truth out of the Bible. John 8, verse 32. John 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And that's why Christ came into this world. He came into this world to give testimony of the truth. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to come out week in and week out to bring out the truth because we are in the perilous times. And this is what everybody has to, we have to blow this trumpet to let everybody know that Christ is on his way back to make the crooked way straight and the rough edges smooth. Second Thessalonians 2, 3 through 12. Second Thessalonians 2, 3 through 12. Second Thessalonians 2, 3 through 12. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And we already know who the man of sin is in this society, the son of perdition. The Most High God has revealed hit this man. And you guys already know that you are the son of perdition here. You guys are the one that exalted yourselves above the Most High God. Read who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Because that picture of Caesar Borgia that you got in all the churches, the one Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo painted, that's not the anointed savior, that's not Christ, because Christ was a so-called black man. But you guys have exalted yourselves as the anointed one. Read. Remember ye not that when what I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. And now the time is here. Now we're in those perilous times. This is why we know who the son of perdition is. This is how we know it's you guys. There's no, no doubt at all in our minds. If we, it, God has it crystal clear in the Bible who this is. Go ahead. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Because see, the Most High is going to take all the wicked people out of the way. This is what he's talking about when he says, when Christ said, I'm coming to make all things new. He said the old things are going to be passed away. Christ said he's going to make all things new, whether you want to believe it or not. This is what it says in the Bible. Read. And then shall the wicked be revealed, the, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. See, no, so you're not going to be able to win this fight against the one that created the heavens and the earth. The Most High God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that's who created the heavens and the earth. No man did this, but you guys have gotten too puffed up with pride here. And pride comes before the fall. Go ahead. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and then that perish. Because they you see, and all this deceivableness and all these lies that you like to tell on a daily basis. See, God has everything documented in the Holy Scriptures and nobody is going unpunished. Read. And with all it deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. See, the Most High God said all the people like this, you're going to perish because you don't want to receive the, the love of the truth. See, Christ came into this world to give testimony of the truth, and that's to be true to God. But see, you guys like lies and deceits, and you like to go with guile. Christ, there was no guile in the Most High's mouth. Three. That they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. And see, that's why he's leaving you stuck in that reprobate mind now. This is why you guys believe that Caesar Borgia is the, the anointed one, that one you have hanging up in all the churches, because you got he's got you in that reprobate mind now and got you guys stuck in delusions, making you believe all those lies. But he's got your number, and it's crystal clear, and nobody is getting away. Read. Yes. Uh, go to 2 Corinthians 4, 3 through 4. 2 Corinthians 4, 3-4. 2 Corinthians 4, 3-4. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. See, if our gospel is hid, it's only, to, it's only hid to those who are lost. Read. 
in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. And see, he would shine unto you, but see, you don't want this truth. You want to go with lies and deceits in this society. This is why you're going to stay stuck in that reprobate mind and stuck in delusions, because you don't want to receive the truth. Uh, Revelation 12, 10 to 12. Revelation 12, 10 through 12. Revelation 12, 10 through 12. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Because you, all you guys do is accuse God's people day and night calling us every proverb and byword and saying all these negative things about us but we were the ones chosen from the foundation of the world we were the ones he chose he gave that blessing to abraham isaac and jacob and that's not going to change because you guys don't like it it's never going to change because you don't like what he did from the foundation of the world read and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Because see, we're going to keep doing this. We're going to run this race with endurance until Christ comes and makes the crooked way straight and the rough edges smooth. We're not going to stop this race that we're in. We're going to run this race with endurance. Great. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he has but a short time. You see, you guys know you have but a short time. Your time is just about up. God has it documented in these holy scriptures. Your time is just about up. This can happen any any moment. Um, first Maccabees. First Maccabees 11. Or 1. 11 through 13. First Maccabees 1, 11 through 13. First Maccabees 1, 11 through 13. In those days when I went there out of Israel, wicked men who persuaded many, say, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For such, for since we departed from them, we had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. And that's what a lot of our people are doing now. You wanted to, to, to conform to this wicked society. And this is now, now you want to do all these ordinances and all these things that the Most High God didn't tell you to do. He told us to keep the law, statutes, and commandments since the foundation of the world. But see, a lot of our people that want to continue on with this, see, this is the Lord's Sabbath day. He said to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. And you're going to get a recompense. I can guarantee you. It's coming. It's coming upon the whole world. Go ahead. Is that it? Uh, Sarak. Or uh, uh, First Maccabees. Or Sarak 23 and 8. Sirach 23 verse 8. Sirach 23 verse 8. The sinner shall be left in his foolishness. Both the evil speaker and the proud shall fall therein. Go ahead. I'll jump down to um, the bread is sweet to a whoremonger. Just jump verse 17. All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. He will not leave off till he die. See, this is the, this is the prophet Sirach. He said, all bread is sweet to a whoremonger, and he's not going to stop doing all these wicked things until he dies. Read. A man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, who seeth me, I am compassed about with darkness, the walls cover me, and nobody seeth me. But see, this, this is the problem. How you doing, brother? The, the problem is that the Most High God, his eyes is upon the sinful kingdom, and he sees all and knows all because he's omnipotent. Read. What need I to fear? The Most High will not remember my sins. And see, a lot of people think that whatever they're doing here in this body, they think that they're getting away with it. But let's see what the prophet Sirach had to say about it. Read. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. He said the eyes of the Most High God is 10,000 times brighter than the sun. So there, there's nobody getting away with doing anything that's wicked here in the body. Read. 
great, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. He knew all things ere ever they were created. So also, after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. And he's been looking upon everything since he created this thing. Since he, he, since he did this from the foundation of the world. The Most High God has been watching it since ancient of days. Go ahead. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city, and where he suspected not, he shall be taken. And this is, this is why Christ said he's coming like a thief in the night. Nobody is going to know when he's going to come and pay you that visitation. So you want to continue on in this mud and the mire? That's how he's coming, to, uh, coming upon you. He's coming just like a thief. You're, gonna, you're not going to know when he comes to, to get you for all this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sirach 41 verse 7, Sirach 42 verse 17, the Lord hath not given power to the saints to declare all his the Lord hath not given power to the saints to declare all his marvelous works, which the Almighty Lord firmly settled, that, that whatsoever is might be established for his glory. He seeketh out the deep and the heart, and considereth their crafty devices, for the Lord knoweth all that may be known. See, the Most High God knows all that may be known, and there is no creatures hidden from his sight, but all things are open to the naked eyes of him, to whom we must give an account. And he beholdeth the signs of the world. He declared the things that are past and for to come, and revealeth the steps of hidden things. No thought escapeth him, neither any word is hidden from him. And it doesn't matter if you got these wicked thoughts going on in your mind. Because see, the Most High God, he trieth the reins and the hearts. He knows how you guys feel about us, how you got this perpetual hatred going on towards God's people. He knows all about it. This is why he's punishing the world as we speak. And he's not going to stop until he accomplishes his mission. Go ahead. He hath garnished the excellent works of his wisdom, and he is from everlasting to everlasting. See, the Most High God is from, he's the one that created the heavens and the earth. He said before the mountains were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. He's the one that did this. No man did this. This is why you guys are going to be greatly confounded in a minute when he smashes every single adversary right here on this planet. Read. Unto him may nothing be added, neither can he be diminished, and he hath no need of any counselor. He's no need. He has no need of any counselor because he is the wonderful counselor. He's the mighty God, and there's no creatures hidden from his sight. Read. Go ahead. Go to Hebrews chapter 4. You can go there. Hebrews 4. There ain't no creatures hidden. Hebrews 4. Uh, Hebrews 4 verse 12. Go ahead. For the word of God is quick and powerful. See, the word of God is quick. It's sharp and it's powerful. Read. And sharper than any two-edged sword. And it's sharper than any two-edged sword. Read. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. And, and see, he knows how to, see, he gets into that mind and gets into that soul and spirit. Read. And of the joints and marrow, and it is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And see, he, that's why he try up the reins and the hearts. He already knows what's going on in these wicked minds. He knows what's going on in those thoughts. You're not getting away from him. Read. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. And there is no creature that's not manifest in his sight. Read. But all things are naked and open unto, to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Because you're going to have to give an account for what you've done here in this body. Everybody's going to have to give an account. Nahum 3, 1 through 6. Everybody's going to have to give an account for what they've done here in this body. Nobody's getting away for what they've done here. Nahum 3, 1 through 6. Nahum 3, 1 through 6. Walk to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. Now, this is the prophet Nahum. He said destruction unto the bloody city because it is all full of, all full of lies and robbery. Because all you guys did was stole all, everything that you've got here. Everything you got here was stolen from all of, from the, the Reubenites, the Gadites, and then you brought our people, the, the Udites, over to build this place up for free. And God has it all documented in the Holy Scriptures. Read. The prey departed not, the noise of a whip, and the noise of the rattling of the wheels, and of the prancing horses, and of the jumping chariots. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. And there's a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses. 
see, the prophet Nahum is talking about, this is after Christ just smashes all of his adversaries here. How it's just going to be a bunch of carcasses laying around on this planet here. This is what the prophet Nahum is talking about. Read. And there is none end of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the wealth favored Harley. He says, all oh, because you've been like, he says, what you guys have done, if you, what you've done is you've transgressed against the most high God. And this is, and he calls this whoredom in the Bible. You've been like a well favoring harlot. God is saying you've been like a whore, a whoremonger. This is what the most high God is saying. Read. The mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I'll discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I'll shew the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. And now and your shame is already being seen. The whole world knows about this wicked place here. This mystery, it's not even mystery Babylon anymore. Everybody knows this is Babylon here and spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Everybody in the world knows about this wicked place now. Isaiah 47, verse 1. Isaiah 47, verse 1. Everybody knows about this wicked Babylon, and but it, 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 in the Bible, it was mystery Babylon. But see, Paul said he wanted to unravel the mysteries, and that's what we've done. We've studied, and now we've unraveled these mysteries. Isaiah 47, verse 1. Go ahead. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter and sit down in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. See, this, this place is called Mystery Babylon in the Bible, but see, listen to what the prophet Isaiah said about this place. Read. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. This place is no more going to be called tender and delicate, because now this place's skirt has been lifted up. God has everything documented in the Holy Scriptures, and nobody is going unpunished for what they've done here to God's holy people. Read. Take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. And, and God is saying he's lifted up the skirts of all of these, these wicked people here, the women and the men. He's lifted up, and he's showing the world through the Bible all the wicked deeds that you have done through time. Read. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yeah, thy shame shall be seen. And now your shame is being seen. Everybody in the world knows about this wicked Babylon and this spiritual Egypt here. This is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. This place, this place was got with ill dealings and unrighteous decrees. And God has everything in this Bible. And nobody's going unpunished. You're going to get this judgment that he said that he has appointed to all the wicked in this Bible. Go ahead. I will take vengeance and I'll not meet thee as a man. And he's not going to meet you as a man. You're not going to put him back on that cross. He's coming back as the Almighty to judge this place. Because in righteousness, we're going to be established. You're not going to be doing nothing to Christ when he comes back in this second trip. Read. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name. This is the, the mighty one of Israel. This is who our Redeemer is. Not Cesar Borger, the one you, that Leonardo da Vinci painted, and Michelangelo, the one you have hanging in all your churches. That's not who we worship. We worship the true and living God. Read. The Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. That's who we're talking about. The Holy One. Read. Um, uh, Ezekiel 35. The perpetual. Ezekiel 35. The perpetual. Because they've had that. Ezekiel 35 verse 1. Moreover the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. And see the Most High, he has a problem with Mount Seir. This is Mount Seir. This is mystery Babylon. This is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Mount Seir, you guys were the ones that came out of those Caucasus mountains of Georgia, Russia. This is why they call you Caucasians. See, we study, we study, we know your history too. You guys try to call us African Americans, but God calls us the Israelites from the tribe of Judah. That's what God calls us in the Bible. Read. And prophesy against it. So we're out to prophesy against this this wicked kingdom. We're out to prophesy against it. Read. Say, thus saith the Lord God, behold, O Mount Seir, 
I'm against thee. See, the Most High God is against Mount Seir. He's against the cave dwellers. He's against Idumea. See, we know all 